Today I'm going to do two looks, both of which are inspired by looks that I put on my Instagram recently and you guys left loads of comments saying please do a tutorial on this look. They're quite different looks but I thought I'd combine them into one tutorial and use one gorgeous girl. So the first look is more of a no makeup kind of makeup look and it's using strong pinks and corals, although buffed out still to look like no makeup. And the other look was more of a glam look, although still quite effortless with stronger eyes and a brighter lip. So very different looks. I mean, it's so nice that I get so many different reactions to all the different looks I post, whether they be editorial looks or they're really clean looks or the more sort of glam looks. And that's what's so nice about social media, that there's so much inspiration, so many different looks to be inspired by. You can basically wear a completely different makeup look every day, or in the case of this one, maybe two in one day. So let's get started, and here's my model, Beautiful Evie. This is going to be a very natural look and glowy. So I'm going to use Chanel Vita Lumiere Classic Formula, which is good for dry skin, which is perfect for Evie skin. So just be guided by your skin type. Either you choose a tinted moisturizer or a foundation, which is sheer, but works with your skin type. So before I do any concealing, I'm going to go straight in with liquid blush. This is a cushion one, but I'm gonna apply it with a brush instead of the cushion, um, a pad. And the reason I'm doing it now before any concealing is just because I want it to be really in synergy with the skin. So very, very fresh. And don't worry if you have blemishes and things you think haven't been covered yet. This is just about getting the skin to be really enhanced and beautified so we can add more where we need to or powder or more concealer later. This blusher is so gorgeous on you. Do you wear makeup much? Almost every day, yeah. I love it. It's my time every day to just kind of sit and like meditate almost. Nice. I love it. Yeah, there is a real meditative oh, power sure. about makeup. Yeah. You just get to kind of clear your mind of everything mm -hmm. else and it's focusing on it's yourself, kind of which is nice, bit, and you yeah. can kind of be creative and have fun and it's not be judged and it's just a nice time. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite type of makeup? Do you do a certain look or? Oh, I love eyeliner, because I just love the way you can completely change the shape of your eyes, whether you, know, you want like kind of a sexy cat eye or doll-like eyes or whatever. I just like switching it up. Because depending on my mood, you know, sometimes you just want to be like, a little bit feistier. Yeah, definitely. You need your wall <laughs> so, paint. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> to keep things easy, I'm using the same color on the eyelids. So next I'm gonna use this brighter cushion shade. This is a really bright pink. And I'm just gonna buff a little bit of this also onto the eyelids. And actually, while I've got that there, I'm gonna brush that over the lips as well. That creates a stain. So now I'm gonna go on to concealer. I'm going to use this kit by Cover FX. So it's got some different shades. Uh, I've chosen it because there's a quite a nice peachy color here that I can mix with the lighter color. I can also use this for the highlighting and this color could be quite good for a little bit of bronzing, but let me have a look. So I'm gonna start by mixing number one and number three. Got for me, I'm just patting that into place. So I want it to be peachy enough to lift any blueness but not too peachy that it looks orangey or looks too warm. So I'm actually using the sponge from the Cushion Blush just to blend this concealer in under the eyes. And that's gonna need setting. But before I do that, I'm going to just conceal the forehead and any red areas. Now, before I finish the concealing and set it, I'm going to use highlighter. I'm gonna try this Luminizer today. This is by Trish McAvoy. Just quite randomly, not in a straight line or anything, so I want it to really blend in. And then using the brush here that had the blush on. And we can go a little down the center of the nose and top of the lips. A tiny bit more concealing to do, just around the chin area. I'm gonna set this now with powder, loose powder, and leave all of this really luminous. So let's curl eyelashes, very important, and then put a good coat of black mascara but really combed through. So 
So onto brows, I'm going to use the Suku palette, start by brushing the brows actually down and then filling in the brow with a little bit of powder before I brush up and then start to feather that colour through. I want them to look very full and luscious but natural. Finishing the brows with some glossy brow gel and this will just separate all those hairs beautifully. And I, I just love the shape of your natural brow. I was never allowed to pluck them growing up, which at the time really irritated me, but now I'm kind of now you're grateful happy. for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mum. Yeah. So to finish off, we've already got the stain from the cushion on the lips, which is lovely. And Evie's got really beautiful lips. I don't need to use a pencil, but I'm just going to show you in case you want to, um, like if this was me, for example, I would definitely want to still add a bit more shape to my lips, even if I was going for a no makeup makeup look. And if you do that, just buff all over lightly. And then for lips, I've chosen this, which is Instant Light by Clarins, which has been in my kit since it launched, and I use it on everyone and I absolutely love it. It just embellishes the lips so beautifully and it smells amazing, don't you think? It's like, it smells um, like dessert. Mm, definitely it smells like <laughs> dessert. Not so much on the top, just a bit on the bottom. I'm also going to go back in with the cushion and just add a teeny bit more colour. So this is just what we used on the cheeks. It's just like a really healthy glowy lip. Back to this palette and the rose gold highlighter shade here, which I think will look really great as a final touch. So I'm going to just bring some light into the inner corner of the eyes, a little bit onto the top lip and nose and center of the eyelid, just to catch the light. So that's the first look done. It's just a really pretty pink sunset inspired, no makeup makeup. Let's go on to the next look. Cleaning off the eye shadow, the previous look's eye shadow before we start. I'm also going to remove this concealer from underneath because I'm going to put some pads on. Nice cold pads straight out of the fridge and this will help to brighten the under eye area. Oh, that feels really nice. Yeah. I love them. These are also really good because they will protect the skin against any shadow that drops down and just freshen the whole area up. And we'll repatch the concealer once we've done the eye look. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting a thin layer of put a lid on it, which is an eye primer, all over the eyelids. So the shades I'm going to use on Evie's eyes today are from this Stila palette. And I'm going to use these two shades here and these three shades here. So all of the amethysty, violet, smoky tones. And as a base, I'm going to use this shade here, which is a lighter muted rose color. And I'm going to use this muted shade all over the lid. So blending and buffing right up to the brow. Now I'm using the matte violet shade, the deep matte violet and this shimmery gray mixed together. I'm using this to create depth at the outer third of the eye on the lid and sweeping up. You can do this with hooded eyes, just do it with your eyes open. And then just keep buffing until, so you can see where the shape is going and open your eyes so you can check that you are beginning to get that winged shape. Using the same dark shades, just start to gradiate from the center towards the inner corner so that it fades to nothing. And just keep working on those edges. Now I'm going to use this ready shade, which is the plummy shade. I think it'll be great with Evie's blue eyes. It'll really um, enhance them. And it has some gold pearl in there as well. So I'm going to apply that all around the center of the eyelid and just keep blending. And then back in with the dark colors to map out the shape a bit more. For the upper and lower water lines, I'm going to apply this intense violet pencil. Now's a good time for me to line the eyes and I'm using Black Grandiose Liquid Liner, which has a matte finish. I'm doing it now because I want to smoke the liner in with powder when I do the final blend. Doing it this way means the eyeliner will really become part of the eye look instead of just sitting on top. 
So with a small brush, I'm using the matte violet shade from the palette again, just pushing and pressing it into the liner to give it more of a smoky effect. And then after that, I'm going to go with a big brush and just blend everything together. I'm using some creamy gel liner on a brush just to press into the inner corner of that lower waterline to add density. And then refresh the lashes with another coat of mascara. So I remove the gel pads and I've patched up the concealer. And I'm just setting that with powder. And to finish the eyes, I'm using the lightest pink shade from the palette on top of the brow bone just to blend in there and a tiny bit at the corner of the eyes. The lipstick I'm going to be using is very bright, so I'm applying some pencil first just to shape the lips, making sure I get right into those inner corners. And the lipstick I've chosen is Lancome's Idol. This is one of my favourite shades, it's a very bright coral red shade. To gently sculpt the face, I'm using contour along the cheekbones and jawline. And then to bring the whole look together, a really pretty, bright, shimmery pink blush. Very softly in a C shape. And as a finishing touch, I'm using a neon pink matte shaker at the centre of the lower lip, just to bring a little life there, a little bit more dimension. You're done, Evie. Check yourself out. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, nice and mm -hmm. nice I've and got glam. To learn to do it myself. <laughs> you will. Oh, I have insane. a feeling you're quite good at makeup just from listening to you talk. I can tell these things. <laughs> so we went from literally no makeup to a subtle no makeup look makeup to a sexy effortlessly wow makeup. One beautiful girl and two great looks.